I guess. All right. Um, well, I guess I'll start right here as I keep going. Um, my name is Sam. I'm really great. Thank you, Benny. Um, my talk is called Monetizing Creativity. And uh, to be honest, it sounds quite cool, right? Monetizing creativity. It means something really something. But actually, it's quite a vague title, to be honest. It could mean something different to each different person, right? For an up-and-coming uh, musician, talent, music talent, means selling your songs, becoming a star, right? Um, for a fashion designer, it might be making your, your label become a big global label so you can sell lots of clothes. And for, for a TV channel, sometimes it just means selling advertising, right? playing great stuff so that people will watch your channel so you can sell advertising. And uh, I'm having a problem with my clicker. All right. Um, who can help me with um, forwarding the slides there? All right, so I actually call it monetizing creativity for serious fun, right? <laughs> serious fun, that's what it's about for me, right? Is, um, I mean, I love music, I, lo I love film, I, I love uh, TV shows, I mean, I love art. I, I, I did a fine arts degree myself in uni. Um, so to me, creativity is about having serious fun. Um, so my question actually to you all is, what do you love, right? Um, I'm not talking about, uh, yeah, this thing will fight now. So I'm not talking about, um, you know, your, your mom, your dad, your girlfriend, your wife, or for that matter, Allah, Jesus, not that. That's, that's a different level. But I'm talking about the things we buy, the things we use, the things we enjoy on a daily basis, you know. Um, so do you love work of T.Y. Savage or Tom Cruise, you know, or for these young uh, ones in the audience, I'm not saying that kind of love. I mean, the, they're creative work, not because, you know, they're looking good. Um, do you love Picasso or you, do you love artwork? You look at that and say, man, this guy's amazing. What of Kelechi Amat? Uh, if you were here earlier, you saw 41 beautiful, incredible, incredible shots. We all see the same things, but look at what he does with it. Uh, do you love Fela? It's hard not to. I mean, Abba. Right? So, what about this? Do you love your car? Your fridge, your microwave, your debit card? Well, I, I mean, okay, maybe I would love to have that car. That's a different one. But do you love it? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. What about Twitter? Your phone? Ogbonosu. Eh? Some say I like that one too much myself, but let's leave that. Um, so I think you get my point, you know. The only real list that we can really in, in some way say we love in that one was the first one. So monetizing creativity is actually about a unique set of industries, right? Um, talents and skills that you just don't get everywhere, right? And it's where love and passion is truly important. You know, you don't love that range like you might love. I'm looking for a young lady who might love his kid, you know, love when he makes yeah, see that guy dance and, you know, so on. Right? It's a different thing. So there's something special in, in creativity. And uh, it's, we actually stand to have a major impact on Nigerian economy. You know, jobs, money, uh, interest in our culture. Uh, Mo is doing great work with, uh, with Ebony Life, you know, uh, getting interest in, in Africa at large. There are many roles. It's not just the talent. I'll talk about that in a second. I guess my speech isn't doing too well. Bye, ladies. But uh, it does take true passion, and my message is, be creative always. Okay. So you may not be able to see this slide. Oh, actually, it's, it's up all right. So I just want to mention for one minute the creative industry. Break them down. This is very brief, but it's also for you to think a little differently because sometimes we just think, especially here in Nigeria, we think music, Nollywood. That's creativity. Lai Lai, heritage, traditional culture expression. I mean, let's think of arts and crafts, uh, festivals, celebrations even libraries, uh, so on. That, that's creativity. That's that, you know, too. I mean, at local dancers, I'm an evil man, right? Uh, arts, visual arts, that's what we always, we normally think of. The painters, the singers, opera, photographers, uh, dance. But then one that's very, very important that we don't think about enough is functional creativity, right? Um, 
that range that we saw, somebody designed, designed that thing to be beautiful. It's, it's hard not to be addicted to it. Um, your phone doesn't just make cool phone calls and tweet or whatever you, you call all those things, but it looks good. It's part of it. Um, so those are very important. New media, digital video games, etc. that's a very important part of functional creativity. Right? And then the last one I'd call is, is and that's where my business lies, uh, with the Trace franchise, right? We, if anything, how we survive is we take great content. I don't like the word content. I'll talk about that in a second. Take great videos. We put them on. You guys hopefully want to watch. Thank you for anybody who's a fan. We we're, we're seem to be enjoying some uh, interest in the channel. And then we can place advertising on it so that, you know, uh, brands can get to show you products that you want and you need. So creativity, the money, the impact of creativity is, actually has a lot of power. The potential to diversify Nigeria's economy, I already said. The World Bank, all of these facts except the last one, the World Bank uh, pointed that in the recession of the last five years, that uh, creative industries are one of the few areas in the global economy suffer. Obviously, they didn't look at my company. That was a joke. Okay. Um, the uh, available data shows that creative industries have facilitated cultural, social, economic development, right? Look at us in Nigeria. As youth, we actually have pride in being Nigerian, where it's been hard, right? Um, and uh, the you know, di creative industries are some of the most dynamic sectors in the world. The value of world exports has grown exponentially in 2005, so eight years back, reaching $335 billion, right? That might be staggering when you think about it. And it appears that Good Luck knows this, right? He announced a fund. I haven't seen the money. No Allah. He continued. Um, so creativity, how do I do it? I said content. I, I hate the word content. In fact, I want to now start calling it, everybody will help me change the word to... Um, to uh, what I even call it now, creations. Everyone help me change that when you talk about it. So creation is undeniably king. So you think about it, how many blogs, how many YouTube channels, how many Twitter handles, how many TV stations, radio stations. So unless you have great content, nobody really gives a hoot, right? All those YouTube channels out there, unless you put out something that, that people want to you know, start talking about, nothing's happening, right? Um, so it's all about creating and, and sharing your creations and reaching people, but you have to be creative yourself in doing that as well. Uh, you're a brand, right? Whether you're an individual artist, whether you're, uh, you have a, a company, the brand like Trace or, or whatever it might be, you, you have something that, that's, that you're managing, right? Even that individual artist has to be careful. He doesn't, you know, some crazy fraud or something. Sometimes it gets us more interested in them, ironically, but... You get my message. Um, be creative, you're a brand. And the world has changed, but don't forget the traditional and don't forget the different. I have one quick story that I like to tell here. Um, I don't remember the name of the group. I asked somebody in my office to help me the other day. They didn't come out with the actual thing. So I don't remember the name of the music group, but there was a music group that got popular by uploading videos of really popular artists. They took a Jay-Z video, they uploaded it. And you know what they did? They put right at the end of the Jay-Z video, before it ended, boom, their video started. And before you knew it, within a week or two, it was really amazing response. Because in a week or two, people started saying, ah, don't stop once you reach the end. You have to see this next thing. Started talking about it, and this is how these guys do. So that's what I'm talking about, being, continuing to be creative, not only in, in uh, making the stuff, but, but actually getting it out there. Um, the last point I'll make there is, um, is, is about uh, on the traditional as well. You also get out. Got to, if you're a musician, doing shows, pushing your CDs, people to listen, getting it to radio. It's not just about tweeting and, and Facebooking. So, um, so creativity, what do you do? I talked about passion at the beginning of this and um, enjoying what you do and, and being part of it. I mean, I'll skip down for a second. True creatives can't live without creating. Think of Bob Marley. It wasn't, he didn't say, I want to be an artist. I'm coming to do. He just, there was nothing he could do. If he didn't make money, he would have still been the same exact guy he was, right? So, is money the goal or the output? 
right? And that's the special thing about the creative industries is, is that it, it kind of comes after you do it, right? No problem in liking money or making money or, or planning how to make money. That's very important. Um, but it's um, all about creating and sharing, um, again, whether it's online, all of those things. Passion and dedication, that's still my message here. Um, creativity, what's in it for me? Right? All of us here. Um, Genevieve and Devange, again, they're just one person. And they're actually the personification of a brand. Right? Genevieve is kind of like, oh, she's not here. But she's kind of like Coca-Cola. Right? But she is named Coca-Cola, crying out loud. There's uh, all of the guys who distribute the videos in Wicca Road in Onicha. They know how they move Genevieve videos, all the places that sell them. The guys who carry them on the road are part of the industry, right? Our makeup artist, the guy behind the camera, the accountant, the lawyer. You understand? There's a lot to it. So there's a massive machinery working behind the scenes. That's very important. We talked about the power of creative industry to, to uh, affect our economy. And this is where it starts to take shape. So a lot of the structures are in place. We all know, I mean, for music artists, I, I rue or I pray for the day that Koson really works. They've been doing incredible stuff, but they need a lot of help, right? For people to be able to make their royalties. I had an artist in our office the other day. He said, I just collected his first check from Koson. I was like, my, thank God. Good. Because that's an important part. So a lot of structures are in place. Um, but look, Nollywood's already a $500 million industry. Dollars. Right? And, um, you know, so there's, there's, there's a lot there. There's, there's, again, the roles, there's jobs, etc. So what do you do? Right? One thing, and this, this is a very general, I mean, I don't have any specific advice on this. You know, of course, I've talked about being passionate, talked about doing great work. But uh, another element, of course, is solve a problem. Right? If you solve a problem, uh, then you become invaluable. I'll tell you, uh, for... Um, See what I'll point to. You see this uh, TEDx sign there, right? Uh, we, we came in the other the other day. We're looking at the, the setup, and it just didn't look great. And um, I picked up the phone and called a, a, a friend of mine, uh, Nelson, might be here, and he rescued it, right? <laughs> he made some good money doing it. But Nelson's the guy I call, and I'll tell you, Cecil at Fly Time calls him. I can't number the, the everybody that. Because he solves a problem, right? It's a very specific thing. He does. He builds stuff like this. He's a carpenter, right? He's cool, great guy. Hangs out. He's really in the industry, unicorn, but you know it might not be what you expected, right? And he does well. So solve a problem, become a must-have, just like Nelson. Uh, um, you know, it's it's uh, there's a lot there's a lot of opportunities out there, and there's a lot of spaces to fill. So in conclusion, you know, there's real potential for economic impact. There's serious opportunities for individuals, organizations, serious investors. Again, I talked about creativity being a very different type of thing than making cars or being in the oil business, etc. And I'll just mention one or two elements here. I mentioned artists, right? Whether you're in music, film, etc. Be ready to, to take, well, everybody needs to be ready to take risks. But in creativity, because of the nature of the beast, risk is even more inherent. So... So um, as an artist, you know, whether it's that guy who made the video, put his video on the end of this one, was thinking differently about how to promote himself, or, or if you guys remember, this is, this, uh, if you, you might remember, I don't know how long ago this was, but Mirinda used to have the orange men show up in Lagos, wandering around somewhere, and everyone's like, shh, <laughs> and it's stuck, we remembered it, right? Think there are ads, there's one single ad that have changed things, my friend Steve Babeko uh, runs an, he's a, creative director for an incredible ad agency that he ran. He, he did the uh, Bovi ad for Diamond Bank, right? You guys seen the Bovi ad? Yeah. And I'll tell you, Diamond Bank, they cannot live without him now. He's become must-have. Um, for investors, serious investors, there's a risk. There's an input, right? They could take their money and go to, to uh, the oil business and make this, but they instead... They're passionate about the industry, they put it down. If you're an artist, you're passionate about the industry, they put it down. So do it for love, the money will follow if you're good. It's not easy. It's not easy for the individual artist, for a company. Nobody is just, you know, overnight successes usually are 10 years in the making, to be honest. 
really, really, really. Go and read about it. I'm sure you've heard about it, right? Be creative in promoting yourself, whether it's as an artist or as a supporting role or in a supporting role, you know. Um, we, we hired somebody not that long ago. We are not hiring now, sorry. Um, but uh, we hired somebody not that long ago who came and actually made a proposal, just managed to get in and start making a proposal. And the guy was so, <laughs> the way he, he, he uh, you know, he approached us, people couldn't believe it. They brought him to me. I said, no, 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 we should talk to this guy, blah, 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 blah. And we actually needed something. It was just a part-time thing, but we, we took that guy. Um, there are numerous roles, but don't disturb people. That's a different matter. Um, and the last thing, there are numerous roles and jobs to be filled. Yes, a lot of things need to happen in our collective creative businesses to make these opportunities more viable. But whether it's as an artist, you know, you don't have to be the guy on stage doing, no, uh, not love, let me not dance, but you don't have to be that guy. You know, he has, he has a lawyer, he has an accountant. You can be, in, you can be a, an electrical engineer and be critical in, in the entertainment business. You know, so there's, there's lots of opportunities there. It ain't easy. Uh, keep at it, make yourself valuable, and it'll happen. That's it. Thank you.